Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make pretty but simple roses for your cakes and cupcakes. No wires required, easy steps and very minimal tools that are needed. You need a rolling pin, some PME petal base or some checks for your mat to make sure your paste doesn't stick. A round cutter, this is two and a half inches, you only need one size per rose, this is medium. Cocktail sticks for the bud and for curling your petals. And some petal paste. I used Renshaw flower modeling paste. I'm going to make my bud first. So roll your paste into a ball. And put your hands in a little bit of a V shape. And this is how you roll a cone. So you've got a nice pointy top and rounded base. And this is your bud. Dip your cocktail stick in some sugar glue and insert the cocktail stick into the round part and set aside to dry. I make these usually 24 hours or at least the night before I start making roses. It should fit at least three quarters of the way up your circle cutter. Soften your paste for your rose petals. Now you want to roll this out fairly thin because you want to give it a real petal look if you have it too thick one the icing will crack when you start curling the petals over and your rose will look very very chunky and you'll have a massive base on your roses if you don't roll this really really thin you can normally see the mat through it obviously this mat is quite a light color so i just know when it gets paper thin i know that it's ready for me to cut my petals you can see i do keep turning it over and moving it around so that it doesn't stick and then when i cut my petals I know that they aren't stuck to the mat gently cut your petals it doesn't matter sometimes if it pulls a little bit on your cutter or frays a little bit on the edges it just actually looks better on the rows so you to start you just need four petals get your bud and some sugar glue and you're going to brush some glue all the way down just to where it starts curving underneath. You don't want to brush underneath. Leave that sugar glue free. Get your first petal and place it on your bud. And I go almost to the bottom, but not quite under the bulge. And it's got to pop over the top a little bit so you can actually go over the top of the tip. Fold one side in neatly, turn your bud around and bring in the other side so it overlaps nicely so you've got a nice tight little bud to start your rose always neaten around the bottom and just press it nice and flat so it doesn't bulge out too much a little bit of glue over the joins don't overdo it with the glue because your buds your petals will actually slide down the bud otherwise just place the petal in place and it must be the same height as the center just gently add pressure to the bottom of the petal now brush about a quarter away over the petal and a little bit around the bud and feed your next petal over don't close the petal you want that part to stay out a little bit so that it pushes the next layer of petals out and it gives it more of a rose effect now gently pull the first petal back I usually put my finger behind it just to hold it in place brush a quarter away over the second petal around the bud and get your next petal Feed over, again, leave that little space that it's open. Feed under the first petal and close the first petal over the third. And again, just neaten up around the bottom so it's not all bursting out and making it untidy. And you're going to gently take your fingers and curl an edge on each one. Just to give it a petal effect. And there you go, you've got your bud sorted. Now for the next layer, you're going to need four petals again. I've already got them ready, but I'm going to show you how to curl the petals. You've got to do this just right. So get your cocktail stick just on the edge and gently roll a little piece of paste back towards you. Turn the petal, get the cocktail stick almost to touch the top of the other curl and curl again. You want this to meet nicely in the middle, not too pointy um, and not too big curls you need it to look like a petal I'm going to show you how not to do it too don't roll them too long and too thick because you will see now when I've rolled it I hold it up and it looks very triangular and it just won't look right on the actual rose 
And again, don't leave too much of a gap between your curls, even if they're small. But if you leave too much of a gap, again, it doesn't look right. And you have a bit of a square looking petal. And again, when you put it together, it's not going to look right. And I have my four petals ready to add to my rose. So start over a join, a little bit of glue, and place the petal with the curls facing out. You come down a little bit on your petal, so a little bit lower than the first layer. Gently stick on. Remember, you're going to need to pull this back at some point, so don't stick it too much. Quarter of the way, a little bit of glue, and then around the bud. And feed that petal over. It's basically the same steps as the first, except that these are curled. Leave that to pop out a little bit. So again, the third layer will push the petals back a little bit. Glue again on the bud and around the base. And add your third petal. Now remember to push your first one out a little bit. And you're going to feed the fourth one over and under. And tuck it in nicely and close it. And again, neaten up the base of your rose so that it's not sticking out and it's all flush against the bud. You can turn it over and this is why it's good to have the bud dry. You can put it upside down and work with it upside down and make sure it's properly stuck. For the last layer, you need five petals. If you want to make a bigger rose, add another layer of five petals. But don't go bigger on the cutter. Once again, start over a join with your petals. First petal on. Now what I prefer to do on the third layer is I actually prefer to turn my petals over and actually brush the, along the bottom half. I find the petals stick a bit better on the last layer if I brush on the bottom half of the petals and then glue them on rather than gluing on the rose and then sticking the petals on. This definitely holds better. So feed your second one over. Again, leave it to pop out a little bit so it looks like a petal. Third one, fourth petal. And just like the other two, pull the first one back a bit, hold it with your finger and feed over and under and then close it. I always turn my flower over at this point and just neaten up at the bottom to make sure they're all stuck properly in place. And then put it back upright and just pull any petals out that need a little bit of bulging out. And that's your rose. Quick and easy. To add a rose to a cake, I hold them upside down after a good couple of hours of drying Cut with a craft knife at an angle towards the cocktail stick. Then gently ease the cocktail stick out. This is what it should look like, cut at an angle. The reason I do this is I can put a bit of sugar glue on, place it on my cake, and it sits beautifully. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and set your notifications to see more from me. Thank you for watching.